it's easy to imagine in our metrosexual London centric world that all battles have been won and uh, you, you only have to sort of you only have to look at uh, still how isolated uh, LGBT people can be outside of the metropolis and in the rest of the world where it's increasingly dangerous to be gay to, to know uh, and realize how important uh, a service like this is I mean it's a fantastic thing because it's not it's not it's not judgmental it's not telling you what to do or how to behave it's just being being there on the end of the phone the danger is to imagine that somehow you'll ring up and, and you'll be told how to solve all your problems and I think it's, it's very important to, to emphasize that's not the case because it's it's just as much service for for families who are coming to terms with that maybe their children have just come out to them or uh, mothers husbands who knows the entire spectrum the training is is very thorough and it makes people into good listeners and and I think in the end as we all know that's that's the most important thing a, a problem shared is a problem halved and, and it's amazing what a difference it makes just to be able to offload it onto a complete stranger actually much easier than uh, than to perhaps an intimate friend who you would be a bit more cautious about some countries which were once quite progressive are backpedaling into the dark ages Russia particularly uh, and then you look at places like Nigeria and or Uganda and the, there's anti-gay legislation just sliding through the statute book so the idea that you could take someone from Uganda or Nigeria uh, and put them on the pride march and and they would discover that no one was judging them it would be an amazing wonderful thing uh, to be able to do but it makes you very aware of, of how lucky we are